how to take in pants legs for a slimmer fit that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen G Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're new to the channel, hello, consider subscribing if you're looking for clear and concise video tutorials and let's get started. So in this video I will be showing you how to take in some pants. These are the pants that I will be taking in. So the first thing you need to do, you need to try on your pants and then decide the fit that you're looking for, how tight or how loose, but obviously you're going to be making the fit closer to your legs. So the best thing to do is to try it on and then pin and then look in the mirror and once you've done that and you're happy with the way it looks, then turn them inside out. So let's get started. So I'll just put these flat and then once you've decided how slim you want your legs to be, turn your pants inside out. It's going to be easier to wear that way and it's the only way you can do it anyway, really. And then lay them flat. Now the tools that I'm going to be using are going to, that you're going to need is a stitch on pig, I've got a sewing gauge here and a marker and I'm just going for a tailor's chalk. So those are going to be the tools that you're going to need for this project. So once you have your pants inside out, so it's going to work on one leg. The first thing you need to do is to the hem, use your stitch on pick, seam ripper, and then just remove the stitching so that you've got a flat hemline in which to work with. So I've done that already. So that's nice and flat as it can be. And then make sure that you are keeping your pants leg flat as possible. So if there's any folders, just do this movement here of just pushing it to one side. Because you want to make sure you don't get that caught in as you are sewing. So I've got my seam gauge here and mine's got a little marker here. I love this tool, it's a really simple, easy tool to use and really handy as well. So I've already decided that I'm going to be, it's going to be about three centimetres and just less than an inch, an inch and a half that I'm going to be taking from the side seams. So this is how I use the seam gauge. And I've got my chalk here and I'm just going to mark like so. If you wanted to go start from the hemline, that's also fine. So I'll just put that along there and show you. There. So every so often, I'm just going to be using this red little marker here to put against the edge of the seam and then just get my marker and just make a mark and just keep going down until I've got it all marked out. Now, as I'm coming towards the top of the pants, I'm going to be tapering it in. What I mean by that is that it's going to get less and less. So from this point here, I'm going to be taking it because I don't need that amount of ones taking around the seat area, the buttocks area of the pants. So from here, I'm just going to just eyeball it. Well, I actually do know how much needs to take away until I get to the point where it's going to be going into the actual original seam of the pants. So there we have it all marked. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just mark that a bit more, deeper in colour. And so to mark the other side, you need to flip your pants over because 
you want to start sewing from the hemline and it's going to be easier to turn your pants over and then mark again. Yep, that's there. And then you just continue marking all along that seam until you get to the crotch area and then I'll be tapering in again. Now once you have, now once you've marked your pants leg, make sure you do both. Hopefully you could see the marking on there. I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and then I'm going to start stitching. I am going to be using red thread and I'm using my largest stitch. But when you come to do yours, just make sure that you reverse back tack, which I'm not going to do because I'm going to pull the thread out. So, um, and make sure you use your regular stitch length. So I'm just following the line that I've marked on these pants all the way to the top where it begins to take up. Each seam, so the pants now has new seam for a slimmer fitting pants. So remember that when you come towards the you put this direction. See how it tapers? So as you stitch all the way up, it tapers in towards the crotch area and also the same on the side seam as well as you can see it's starting to taper in for a closer fit so all that is left to do now so I'm obviously going to re sew these with the green thread so um, I will be pulling those out you need to then do your hems so you would cut this you would cut along here for your seam and then you will need to off the edge so you can either overlock it or serge it, zigzag it, whichever is your preferred finishing seam edge that is what you will do and then you will turn back your hem like so and obviously it would be better if you put it through to the right side and then restitch the hemline of your pants and then they are ready to wear. Well I hope you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did give it a thumbs up, please leave a comment, do subscribe and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell that way you will receive notifications of when I upload videos and I will see you next time.